Is this video captured from a U.S. fighter jet proof that aliens exist? The Pentagon says no. But these former military men told a congressional committee they believe it is proof. One former pilot says he's seen it for himself. All four of us, because we were in F-18Fs, so we had pilots and Wizzo in the back seat, looked down a small, saw a white tic-tac object with a longitudinal axis pointing north-south and moving very abruptly over the water like a ping-pong ball. There were no rotors, no rotor wash, or any sign of visible control surfaces like wings. He says no military has the technology to fly like that. But David Grush, a whistleblower and former intelligence officer, took it even further, saying he was told that for decades, the U.S. government was recovering crashed alien spacecraft to try and re-engineer the technology. If you believe we have crashed craft, uh, stated earlier, do we have the bodies of the pilots who piloted this craft? As I've stated publicly already in my News Nation interview, uh, biologics came with some of these recoveries, yeah. Were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human, and that was the assessment of people uh, with direct knowledge on the program I talked to that are currently still on the program. The Pentagon flatly denies this allegation, but Congress says it wants answers and is considering a bill that would force the Biden administration to make public everything it knows on what it calls UAPs, unidentified aerial phenomena. Another witness says, if that happens, look out for talk of a flying black cube. Ten miles off the coast of Virginia Beach, two F-18 Super Hornets were split by a UAP. The object, described as a dark gray or a black cube inside of a clear sphere, came within 50 feet of the lead aircraft and was estimated to be 5 to 15 feet in diameter. The mission commander terminated the flight immediately and returned base. Our squadron submitted a safety report, but there was no official acknowledgement of the incident and no further mechanism to report the sightings. Congress wants to change that in hopes of answering the age-old question, are we really alone? Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington.